there. And I should, without a doubt, when I leave there, know that that's what's happening. And I have a lot of doubts right now. Tonight, new concerns from a woman who is the legal guardian over her sister living in a West Side nursing home where 21 residents who have tested positive for COVID-19 have died. Now, Signature Healthcare of Jacksonville's daily recorded message today said that 112 residents and 60 staff have tested positive for COVID-19 since the pandemic started. Emily West hasn't been able to visit her sister, Catherine Meredith, at Signature Healthcare of Jacksonville since March. Meredith is one of more than 100 residents at the Westside Nursing Home who has tested positive for COVID-19 since the pandemic started. I'm just really concerned about, you know, the safety and her well-being. Her concern now is not over COVID, which her sister no longer has. It's over whether Meredith is getting the appropriate care. She's in the nursing home due to a stroke that left her unable to communicate. From April 2nd to July 7th, her weight went from 145 to 117, and nobody ever contacted me to let me know that her weight had gone down so much. Blood tests, she says, showed no signs of infection. Has she not been getting fed properly? When her sister missed a doctor's appointment Wednesday, she went to the nursing home to check on her. And I found out that someone from the facility had called the transportation company to cancel transportation and told them that the appointments had been canceled. West was not allowed in the nursing home under state orders, but did get to see her sister from a distance. They opened up the blind in the window so I could see her. Her hair was a mess. Uh, I said, who cut her hair? And they said the beautician must have, but the beautician's not allowed in because of COVID-19. And so I said, well, if she's not allowed in, who cut her hair? And they said, oh, we don't know. Maybe she pulled it out. She wants answers. She's filed a complaint with the state and is sharing her story in hopes of sparking action. I hope that somebody, the state, the health department, somebody will step in and say, you know what? Maybe we should take this a little bit more seriously and get in there and see what's going on. Now, she told me that tonight she ended up calling 911 to have her sister transported to the hospital to be evaluated, and she did get to see her sister this evening. She shared some pictures of them uh, together with me. That's her sister right there, Signature Healthcare has declined a request for an on-camera interview, but has sent us a statement which says, in part, our teams work diligently and to the best of their ability to keep the lines of communication and understanding open with our residents and their responsible parties at all times, and we will continue to do so. And right now on firstcoastnews.com, a web exclusive. Hear the story of a signature healthcare resident and why he says his needs right now are not being met also, what inspection reports at that facility revealed? Anthony?